Well, good day. This is David Wetton again. Um, I was going to do an actual simple uh, example here of how to use pivot tables and different design layouts. In fact, someone was asking me about this the other day, and I actually had totally forgotten this was even possible possible to do in pivot tables. So I have to get back to them and let them know what you can, because sometimes the simple stuff just kind of you know drops through the cracks with us. We're always looking for very complex solutions, but this is a very simple thing. And actually, I think it's one of the most important things you should understand about pivot tables is they can be uh, kind of presented in different formats. And as you can see, the area I'll be looking at today is the design layout. And as you can see, it's accessible. Once you're in a pivot table, at least click on the pivot table, you'll get the pivot table tools bar appears under design. You'll then see these options here. And in particular, you'll see these ones, which is the ones we're going to focus on. The subtotals, grand totals, report layout, blank rows. I have to admit, I don't think I used them. They were probably there for like 10 years and I never even hit them once. But uh, now that I know they exist, they're actually quite useful. So we're going to go to a set of data. Doesn't really matter. I just grabbed some from a public site, something about, um, oh, various um, call out issues on environmental protection. but. It's not the point. Slapped it into a pivot table and we're going to kind of build one classic pivot table. Let's see, year, year department, vision, number of cases. I'm going to also drop in a slicer just so I can control the uh, size of the data so you can see it all on one screen. So I just put a few of those in and I think if we this one might limit it. Yeah, so now at least the uh, data is viewable on, in a single format, which is what we really want to see. So typically when you make a, or kind of the default mode for pivot tables is this format. You can kind of see how it's stepped down. And for some people, that's harder to, to read. I can imagine particularly difficult when you've got this kind of data where it's huge, then it's going to be very hard to follow through. So again, Often this is a matter of personal choice. So if we go up to pivot tables, look under design, look at some of the options you've got here. In particular, we'll start with report layout. This is actually compact form, which is the default mode. In fact, what it says here is the compact form optimizes for readability, while the tabular and opt outline forms include field headers. So if we turn it into outline form, what you can see is it's now turned it into more of a flat, getting closer to a classic spreadsheet, but it's still sort of stepped down. You know, here's the one header, subheader, subheader. So you're kind of going, you know, continually down. If you really want to go with the classic look, um, you know, totally horizontal, looks more like a spreadsheet in a way, but again, it is a pivot table. So now you've got this kind of format. And if you really want to go classic, and get all the headers in here, then you're going to have headers in every row. Again, looks pretty ugly if it gets big, but again, users uh, get to choose. So again, get to know these. And again, you can switch off the grand total, subtotals, your choice. One of the other things you should also consider is looking at all the various table styles. And there's quite a few from extremely ugly to hurting your eyes types to some that are actually very helpful. So again, when you're getting into larger tables, having some color or banding to help the reader sort of follow through here. So again, you can see how that works. If I change this to tabular mode again, you know, more question to me is almost like trial and error. I kind of just sort of see which one's going to work best. You know, well, I don't like that one at all. Anyways, do this and you still have this other one here. Very simple choices. Insert blank row, remove blank row. So again, more question of making it a little bit more palatable to the eye, depending, especially maybe if you're going to print it out. So it'll just insert a row. Obviously, you can remove that. So again, just give it a shot. Try it out. See which formats you like. Again, if you're going to be printing it on a black and white printer, you probably want to stay away from things like this. Um, some of these fonts, or pardon me, some of these colors are just going to render terribly. And remember also, there's this whole issue of color blindness. So you should uh, think about that a little bit. If you're making a more formal presentation, some colors simply don't render on some people's eyeballs. So keep that in mind, especially for your male audience, which is, uh, what is it for? I don't even know the statistics. Is it 7% or anyways, look it up, Google. 
So anyways, uh, pivot table, design layout options. Yeah, definitely take a look at them. I have to admit, I never did them for years and years. I kept going with the same compact form, which I still think is the best overall. But uh, the other ones have their values. And some of the clients, particularly the ones that are coming from traditional spreadsheets, I found that they are very uncomfortable going into anything that doesn't look very similar to their classic spreadsheet. So, I mean, toss them a bone, give it to them in the more traditional layout. You can easily change it back. As you can see, it's just literally a button push. And once they get used to the idea that they can turn it on or turn it off, then they're much happier. So again, just more to learn and very useful tools. Cheers for now.